What's going on everybody? In this video, I wanted to talk about ChargePoint stock or CHPT. They also have earnings coming up and I failed to mention it in my last upcoming earnings video going over BNGO, Synceonic stock and Workhorse. So in this one, let's look at ChargePoint and there's also a couple of pieces of news I wanna go over as well as something important going on on the chart. So let's get right into this one. Now, if you don't mind hitting the like, I definitely appreciate it. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I put out daily videos and let's look at CHPT stock. Now, ChargePoint is gonna be reporting their earnings on March 2, so stick around. I will be covering it and I will be giving you guys an edited, cleaned up version of their earnings call. And I think this is wrong. This shouldn't be fourth quarter ended March 2. March 2 is the date they're gonna be reporting earnings. And the first article I wanted to go over is this Fisker and ChargePoint news, and I will leave you guys a link down below for it. But we did get a previous video um, from Fisker, a little short video of someone using a Fisker Ocean and plugging in a ChargePoint charger. That video was removed from Fisker's uh, Instagram, I believe, or Facebook. And I think that was because they wanted to wait to announce this partnership. But Fisker did decide to team up with ChargePoint. And I also wanted to bring up this article from Reuters. I think it's definitely got its biases, but I do at times as well. But it goes over how the Biden infrastructure plan is you know, having half of EVs sold by 2030. And it shows a national network of EV chargers and how they're trying to roll out chargers on certain highways. Well, to me, where this Reuters biases start popping out here is when they talk about Wyoming. And they bring up a quote from the state uh, Wyoming has no desire to establish infrastructure that will likely fail. Well, I don't think anyone wants to establish infrastructure that will likely fail, but I did want to show you guys what's going on in Wyoming and how much chargers they currently have. This article would have you think that there's no chargers around and Wyoming's just way too rural and these charging stations don't want to add chargers in Wyoming. And I'm sure this sounded a lot like the early years of gas adoption. And there was probably very rural areas where people said, a gas station doesn't make any sense here. There's not going to be enough people. It's just going to be lying idle. I did want to show you what we currently have going on in Wyoming. There are chargers all over the place and they definitely will add more over time. And as you zoom into different locations, there are more here. This isn't everything that's here. But we could definitely see more chargers popping up in Wyoming over time, obviously. And one thing to consider here with gas is unless you have some gas reserve at your house, you're not going to be filling up your car overnight, whereas with an EV, you can charge at home. The only time you're really going to need charging infrastructure not where you live is if you're going on a trip. If you're going on a couple hour trip, you know, you might want to stop and stretch your legs. You might want to stop for 30 minutes, go on a little shop, maybe get some coffee. So to me, um, you know, long trips on EVs, that's kind of the outlier. But we, of course, do need infrastructure there. We do need charging available at hotels, more charging available in, you know, shopping centers, things of that nature. And everything will progress with time. And I don't want to come off as some insane EV charging bowl, but I do see the direction things are going. And this is coming from someone that only has gas cars currently. But how do you guys feel about the EV charging infrastructure and EVs in general as the years progress? Leave your comments down below. But next up, let's look at ChargePoint on the chart. I do have some things to show you there. Now I did want to pull up ChargePoint on the chart and show you guys that it did break this ascending support and finally broke this ascending channel that we were starting to see here. We may see this ascending support become resistance especially as we come up to earnings. But one thing about earnings is they do expect a record-breaking quarter in revenue. And this company has seen very consistent revenue growth. And in my eyes, it's pretty crazy that only a little over a year ago, they were pulling in 60 million. Now they're expecting to pull in around 160 million. So one thing that's gonna be important to listen to in the call is words on profitability. Are they gonna use the word profitable more often than they did in previous videos? Is the theme here gonna be a focus on getting towards profitability? Are they gonna use those words? The q and is gonna be very important to listen to. And of course, also their outlook. What are they expecting for the rest of this year? Now, one thing that I did wanna pull up here is the the three EMAs, the 50, 100, and 200. And our last attempt of a break of these EMAs was back here in September, 2022. The 50 did flip the 100, but it wasn't able to flip the 200, found resistance and just started falling. And even back here in the end of 2021, in December here, you'll see that we almost flipped the EMAs literally all came into contact and then it just fell. Of course, earnings came out at this point and it's almost like the market sets itself up for these pivotal moments in this stock. And I do expect that for this earnings. If we have a good earnings, we're going to break back above this, what is now a resistance. And if we come out with a bad earnings, we're, we're going to be having to look out for those May 11 lows and the low established in the end of 2022. And this is right around 850 or so. But I do see a potential swing here. If we do get a flip of the EMAs, could definitely play the bullish momentum on that. But charge points, short-term success on the chart definitely hinges on this earnings that's going to be coming out. So get ready for that coming out in just a couple days. But how do you guys feel about charge point? What are your thoughts moving forwards and how are you feeling about earnings coming up? Thanks as always for watching guys and have a good rest of your day.